Hello everyone and welcome back to the Night in the Woods playthrough, episode 9. The last time we got, uh, we did absolutely horrible on most of the mini games. <laughs> we enjoyed Harfest and we had another weird funky dream, but this time it wasn't so violent, so that's good. It's just mysterious, in fact. So, let's continue and see what the game has in store for us. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Reach for the boots. Put them on. Let's see what we have now. Help last night. Woke up your life. Okay. Oops. There we go. So, another stressful band practice for me. So I'm not good at it. We're gonna see if there's anything left to this. The music's different. Probably because we're in a new act. Nothing to that. Okay, can't jump on in there. I remember it. I was just trying to see if anything had changed. There we go. <laughs> Is it a trap after yesterday? Just shy. Don't worry, we might just be loot be homeless soon, that's all.
Well, that was better after the bomb dropping from the last episode, right? Oh, wait. Oh, the crap, they're still working on it, okay. You know the most amazing thing to me about all of this is... Hey, let's get another... Not, not the game. Um, life in general. The furry fandom in general is that I am not a furry that any furry would actually like. I'm not. And the reason of that is because of my personal and political views. I keep them to myself. At least on the furry side of things. Um, and it's interesting for me that people will like you right up into the point where you start to disagree with their political and personal beliefs. And I, I've been on Twitter and I express a an opinion based on actual fact, not on feeling and stuff like that, where people don't like it. And you're supposed to be like super accepting of everybody's opinion right up until you disagree with them. And if enough people disagree with you, it is perfectly okay to uh, insult them, make fun of them, you know, any of the things that would normally not be okay is perfectly all right now because we disagree with you politically. The furry fandom, when I joined it, was very accepting. Didn't matter your political belief, didn't matter your, your sexual orientation, didn't matter anything like that. Nothing. Now it does. Now it does. And their furries are accepting right up until the point where you disagree with that. Up until the point where you disagree with anything. That's supposed to be just hardcore agreed upon in the furry fandom, which is sad, because that limits thought. That limits possibility of explanation of experience. And the only reason that brought I, that's brought up to me and came to my mind is um, uh, just recently. It's one of those things where you can't you can't really voice your Opinion, uh, in the furry fandom if you have a certain opinion because if you do you'll be like you will actually they say not to judge but if if you have this opinion they will judge you they will insult you and then it's okay then it's perfectly okay you deserve it in fact think about that for a minute weird, right? The fancy term for it is hypocrisy. People hate it when you point out hypocrisy too. Once you once you're able to point it out, instead of uh, giving a genuine argument, what they'll do instead oh, there we go is insult you. The moment they insult you, they've run out of actual argument. 
you know you you bit into the truth you hit them with a truth that hurts so bad that the only thing they could do the only way they could get around having to acknowledge that truth is by trying to insult and demean and break down your character it's an important thing to remember and to take into consideration I think it's important to talk about stuff like that. Furries like to pretend like life is all cutesy and stuff like that. It's not. Life is hard. Life is t just... Uh, it's a mixture of everything from good, bad, and even those things are just... They're, they're based on perspective. Good and evil are perspectives of things. Nothing is subjectively good or evil. Or, not, I'm sorry, objectively good or evil. It all depends on the person's perspective. Like, enough people can agree that something is good, and enough people can agree that something is evil. But if something, someone does something that someone else thinks is evil, but they think it's good, it's not objective. It's subjective to the person. Now, you could, there are things that people agree upon in society in general, like say just grabbing someone off the street and killing them, an evil act, right? One of the things that you don't think most of the time or some people don't consider is why that person did it. If they never give a reason, you just think that person is evil. What if the person they grabbed had killed someone that they loved? They got away with it, you know, found innocent, but they knew it happened. They knew for a fact that that person was guilty. And they decided to take justice to their own hands after the court had decided that they were innocent. Is it still a evil act? subjective. Let's go visit the church and Bruce. So many things in this world that are just nuanced to the point where people don't want to think about them critically. It's tiring to think of something and everything so critically. And even things that most people will completely and utterly agree on 100% for the most part, 
there will always be somebody who's thought about something critically enough to think it's bad. I have the personal curse of critically thinking things to death. Thinking personally that personal freedom is more important than uh, the greater good. Reducing the freedom of an individual reduces the freedom of everyone. And you say that's not necessarily true. If you can reduce the personal freedom of one person for the quote-unquote greater good, then that gives everyone else an excuse to reduce the freedoms of everyone for the greater good. Still can't get in there. It's a little heavy-headed talk right now, but I don't know. I think it's important to discuss things like this. Yep, nothing there. Let's keep going. I know I've let the last few videos go a little longer, but I think it's because A, people have time right now, and B, it's worth it to explore a game like this every day, because you're supposed to explore it, basically everything you can every day to try and get as much out of the game as possible. So I've let them push past the 30 minute mark, and I hope that's okay with you guys. See if there's conversation over it. Tell us off. Well, she made the transition. Okay, guys, in it. Oh, wait, it's up. Oh. I always keep thinking he's over to the left, and he's not. He's over to there. He is right up there. It's 
feed the rat babies first. Come on. There we go. Oh no, come on. There we go. If you heard that knock, it was my elbow hitting a metal table. That was not fun. The Blood Gorgon. Down we go! Fat Pocket Pond. There's the old pickaxe. We'll go in and say hi to P later. Party Barn! Let's go say hi to. They remind me of Cliff and Norm from Cheers. Fantastic show. You should watch it. If you've never watched it, it's got like 11 seasons. All fun. A little hokey at times, but still very fun. And then, of course, go on to watch Frasier after that, because Frasier is introduced in uh, Season 3, Episode 1. And ended up getting his own show, because that character and the show itself were amazing. Well, there's nothing up there to do anyway. Oh, hey, what's he doing here?
That means B let him go for some reason. Actually, that means B let him go for some reason after the play. Little detail there. I wonder what I wonder what happened. I know if we go see Greg, it'll be automatically straight to band practice, so I wanna go and see what's up with the uh, what's up with the E. It is one of the things I don't like about Greg. People think he's a fun, silly character, and even as a teenager, I would just been like, this dude's stupid. Like, why would you like him? He's like the exact type of person all the furries say you shouldn't be, and all the furries are just like, oh, Greg's amazing, he's perfect, he's our favorite character. He's like the anti-furry furry. furry. The only thing he's got going for him is that he's gay, and I think that's the only pe reason people actually give him a pass. Like, he does everything you say you sh he person shouldn't do, except be gay. And it sounds bad to say that, but that's the reason furries, I think, will give any character a pass. Okay, here comes another absolutely terrible performance on my part. Oh god. Yep. Oh gosh. Oh. Yeah, I already told you this is gonna be bad. Three, two, three, two, three. One, two, three, two, three, two, three. One, two, three. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. This is just bad. Yep, see, just 
terrible. Oh god, please let it be done. Why isn't it done? Okay, it is done. Uh. I, I, I'm terrible with the keyboard! I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm terrible with the keyboard when it comes to stuff like that, especially 1, 2, 3, 4, which I'm not used to, like, bouncing back and forth through. Maybe if it's, like, WASD, or whatever. I don't know why it stopped me there, but, you know.
Okay, so they just took us up to the first floor, so I'm guessing we have to go... Okay, up to the second and third floor. Why didn't it just take you to the third floor, give you the option? That's weird. Now, this is going to be the... What's upsetting is that this is the actual, like, some kind of real attitude some people have. Are we friends now? It's like you're making fun of somebody's genuine emotions for you. I saw it, I saw it.
So I didn't know that was going to be a choice there. I thought they were just talking. weird. Send me to the first floor after I was done with that. I figured they would make you go to the third floor. But, whatever. Thank you. 
Well, there we go. Ah, just keep this day keeps going, doesn't it? I wanted to check to see if there was anything else. I guess there's no Malloy and Garbo today. And what do you want to bet that there's going to be a dream sequence? Let's check to see if anybody has anything to say online. They do, in fact. Here we go. What? Uh, okay. I hit the wrong button, clearly. Let's try that again. Okay then, we got just about everybody. Bedtime, yes. Does that mean dream or no dream? Running, running, running. Dream sequence. That means this video is going to be over an hour long. Well, 
that's look at that floating people silhouettes We have what one more person to find. Okay, I, I was about to turn back. Well, I did turn back because I thought that was the edge, and it was. But the fading into black kind of like made me rethink that for a second. Ooh, so close. There we go. Fell down that uh, little slat down there. There you go. That's something new. We haven't seen them attack anything yet. Alrighty, well, that's it for today's video. It's almost an hour long, so <laughs> it'll give you plenty of stuff to watch, I guess. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed going through and learning all this other stuff. Uh, enjoyed ranting a little bit. Not too hard, I don't think, but you know. But I hope you all have a great day, and as always, stay positive. <laughs>